Hi, it's Dwyer. It's Wednesday, August the 18th, 2021. Gamblersadvisory.com, a free site. Digitalassetlife.com, a free site. Behind me is a picture of a historical landmark in San Jose, California, where I live. This is the Winchester Mystery House, right? I want people to think about cryptocurrency like they think about this house in back of me. It's scary. It's uncertain. You don't know what's in the next room. It can be lethal, right? Winchester, of course, was involved in the firearms industry. But it could also be lucrative, extremely so. So I want people to understand the risk involved and it is substantial. Nothing I say in this video should be construed as financial advice. I'm just telling you today what I'm looking at. I'm just sharing with you things that interest me. I want everyone here to think for themselves and to rely on their own personal financial advisors. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now for me, I'm just talking about for me, the best way I have discovered to buy Bitcoin is by using strike.me. Again, strike.me. Jack Mallers is a Bitcoin maximalist. He runs the service. I believe they give you Bitcoin at the cheapest price possible, right? They don't charge a big markup in giving you the Bitcoin. I found them to be reliable. I found the purchases to be easy. For more information about the service, and I'm not a paid spokesman, I encourage people to go to strike.me. Again, it's strike.me. I believe it's worth a look. Now, let's talk about a few ideas here. I believe one of the better ways to play crypto is in the real world, not the crypto world, right? Not buying coins, but buying listed stocks that actually have some expertise in the crypto field, that actually make money in the metaverse. Right now, I know that Galaxy Digital, for more information, go to galaxydigital.io. Full disclosure, I own some shares of the company. I know that Galaxy Digital just announced that for the second quarter, you remember the second quarter when Bitcoin was swooning, right, was down well below where it is now. For the second quarter, Galaxy Digital, a diversified entity that is involved in several aspects of cryptocurrency. Right, they own Ethereum, Bitcoin, other coins. They're involved in mining as well. They have an application for a Bitcoin futures ETF pending. Right, they're involved in all aspects of the cryptoverse. Right, we'll use words interchangeably here. Metaverse, cryptoverse. I know for the second quarter, Michael Novogratz, formerly a fortress, a billionaire, who's the head honcho at Galaxy Digital, has been in cryptocurrency for a long time, announced that Galaxy Digital, which has been expanding, lost about 200 and, excuse me, $175 million in the second quarter. So understand, the shares have dropped. People in the market have jitters. I like the company. I'm looking to pick up more here. I think the company is perfectly positioned. 
I like the diversification. I like the fact that they're into several parts of crypto. I like the fact that the company is aggressive. I believe it's worth a look. They're publicly listed. Again, for more information, go to galaxydigital.io. I'm also interested in getting part of an exchange that lists a lot of coins and that offers you interest back on the coins they list, many of them. Right now, understand, if you believe that Coinbase has a market cap that's justified, then what I want you to do is to look at Voyager. The website is investvoyager.com. Again, investvoyager.com. Right, full disclosure, I own some shares of the company. Again, this video is really about what's interesting me right now. Right, I want you to think for yourself. But this company is involved in a lot of things. This company has an excellent interface with a lot of coins. They're publicly listed, just like Coinbase. And guess what, folks? They're a hell of a lot cheaper than Coinbase, right? Take a look at investvoyager.com, right? Again, there are ways to make money off of cryptocurrency that's outside of just owning the coins themselves, right? You can own diversified entities like Galaxy Digital. You could own exchange-related entities like Voyager. Let's shift up. In an earlier video, I said that this summer would be the summer of Ethereum challengers, right? Cardano, Solana. I want you to look at their record over the last three weeks. Just to understand why both of these coins are getting attention. Cardano is about to embrace smart contract capability. Right? That's going to be released on the market. That's going to be a big moment for the coin, which is very decentralized, even though it's a proof of stake coin. Solana has a very high throughput, right? Ethereum 1.0 can't match it. You really have to assume that Ethereum 2.0 is going to grow by leaps and bounds technologically to come close to where Solana is today. Right? People are figuring out that Solana is a superior technology. Same with Cardano. And of course, both are in the top 30 in market cap of all of crypto. Well, let me throw out another name that I mentioned before. So long ago that I called it Matic. It's old name. Now it's called Polygon. Now let me just make a few points here. They'll sound a bit odd. Polygon is out of India. Understand, in a few short years, India is going to pass China as the most populated country on the planet. Now, there's been an ongoing back and forth in India over cryptocurrency. Right? The authorities aren't enamored of cryptocurrency. Right? Crypto... There's been an air of uncertainty in India. You don't have the market penetration that you have in other countries. I just want people to understand that Polygon is an accomplishment. It was built on top of Ethereum. It allows you to do things more cheaply and more quickly 
than you could do on the Ethereum network. Well, understand Polygon is growing by leaps and bounds. Right? When I first started talking about the chain, Matic, which renamed itself Polygon, you could get a coin for pennies. Now, of course, Polygon's price is over a dollar a coin. Right? It's grown exponentially. Understand, it's going to grow some more because of what it offers. They have paid $250 million. Again, $250 million to buy the Hermes Layer 2 blockchain. I believe what they're going to start to do is to assert some independence away from Ethereum. Right? Understand, Polygon has a lot going on. Some of you may have used QuickSwap which is built on the Polygon protocol, right? I want people to understand that Ethereum has major competition. Polygon has already shown to me, at least, as someone who's paid more than $10 for multiple Ethereum transactions, not involving a lot of money, right? I'm talking about in transaction fees, right? Understand, Polygon has already shown that it can handle such transactions better than Ethereum. I believe people are confusing Ethereum with DeFi. I think the Ethereum brand name has a lot of people excited, and then when they say they're burning coins, people don't seem to realize that that's already happening with coins like BNB coin in the crypto space. So, given that Polygon, in my opinion, and I understand this is controversial, right, seems to understand the consumer better than Ethereum has, right? Given that transactions seem to operate more smoothly on the Polygon network, and given the fact that Polygon is an Indian coin, that might actually lead the way into that market. I've been picking up some Polygon lately. Right, full disclosure, I own some Matic. I took some profits. Well, guess what? I'm back in the Polygon market. Right, I think Polygon has huge upside. Again, I'm just speaking for myself. One of the themes that I want people to consider here is the rise of Ethereum challengers. There are several out there, right? You also need to have an understanding of markets. Understand it's a Darwin type environment. You're only gonna have survival of the fittest. So many of these coins are going to disappear some might merge with other coins. You already have mergers in the crypto sphere, right? Solana and Cardano are already two of the biggest market caps in all of crypto. I believe Polygon, which is already in the top 100 of all market caps in crypto, is well situated to be a survivor. Right? I just want people to understand that they shouldn't assume that Ethereum is going to be the coin with dominance in the space. Let me also make another basic point. You know, it's my belief that there's Bitcoin and then there's everything else. Just understand that as much as I love Cardano, Solana, Polkadot, Polygon, none of them are a substitute for Bitcoin, right? I like the decentralization that proof of work creates, right? I'm not surprised that countries are announcing that they're going to a Bitcoin standard, 
right, that Bitcoin will be accepted as legal tender. Right? You don't hear countries saying, hey, we're, we're going to an Ethereum standard. Right? Let me point out, too, that I feel that a lot of the arguments against Bitcoin are just downright silly, including the one where people are concerned about the electricity Bitcoin uses. Right, folks, if we're going to use electricity at all, I want it used for the highest possible reasons. Financial self-sovereignty falls into that category. Right? So if I had one crypto to buy, it'd be Bitcoin. Let me be clear here. But if I'm in the world of smart contracts and uh, things like that, okay, fine. I get that there's an Ethereum ecosystem. Just understand there are others that are competitive. Some of them actually cater to the consumer in my opinion, better than Ethereum does. Let's talk about another development that I am looking at and participating in. Right now you have really one of the best opportunities I have come across in investing in general. You have two, well, put it this way, you have a system, the Binance ecosystem Right? You have a system that allows you to stake coins with very high market caps. In this case, PancakeSwap, right? which is in the top 50 of all market caps in crypto, which if you've ever used it, is an excellent coin. It allows you to swap one coin for another. Right? Think of it as Binance's Uniswap, right? Now, what's mind-blowing about staking PancakeSwap on the Binance network? And you could do so using the Trust Wallet, right? They have a good interface that allows you to then get into dApps and to then set up staking. Is that you're getting back Pancake Swap, a coin that I believe will be a survivor. Again, it's already in the top 50 of all market caps in cryptocurrency, right? You don't need to commit to staking for a long time. In other words, if in fact you have a financial emergency, right? The mortgages do. Maybe someone in the family, maybe you, need surgery. If you need to liquidate, just understand, you can do so and only suffer a 0.1% withdrawal penalty if you do so within the first three days of staking. Right? There's also a performance fee they charge you of 2%. Let me also point out, too, that unlike other coins, where you need to stake many of them in order to stake that coin at all, right? With PancakeSwap, you can stake less than five coins. You don't need a lot of coins to stake. And, of course, they're paying you. In terms of staking rewards, as of this morning, 92% rate of return, right? 92% APR. When I started staking, the number was up around 95%. It fluctuates. But just to understand, this is an opportunity to stake one of crypto's most highly valued in terms of market cap coins without a lot of commitment for an outrageous APR of greater than 90%. Again, it's PancakeSwap. I would encourage people to research staking PancakeSwap on Trust Wallet. You can find out all this information online. Now, Understand, too, your staking is only as good as what you're receiving for the staking. 
right? Some people will talk about getting paid more than 90%. This is how outrageous DeFi is. More than 90% with other coins that didn't exist four months ago that are brand new, that they're convinced they're going to go to the moon, right? You need to understand that in the Binance ecosystem, PancakeSwap is one of the most important coins, right? You use PancakeSwap to do a whole range of transactions. This isn't a fly-by-night coin that might not be there next week. This is a coin with a history. You need to also look at the space and realize you have Uniswap, you have SushiSwap, you have PancakeSwap, you have Dino Swap, folks, you don't have that many coins of this nature. So I believe these coins that allow people to convert one coin to another are going to continue to be very important in the world of crypto. And the idea that you can get a greater than 90% APR by staking a coin with a top 50 market cap in all of crypto is simply outrageous. I believe it's unparalleled in terms of value in the world of crypto. Keep in mind too, PancakeSwap has been appreciating in value over time, not day to day, but over time. And over time is what matters. Right, so in addition to the greater than 90% APR on the pancake swap you're receiving, you're getting appreciation. So that's what I'm looking at here. Right, I'm looking at publicly listed companies involved in crypto, namely Galaxy. Uh, Galaxy Digital, right? You can find out more information at galaxydigital.io. Uh, Voyager, you can find out more information at investvoyager.com, right? I'm also still focused on Ethereum challengers, right? For the record, I've owned Ethereum for years, right? I'm talking against part of my holdings. I'm not selling my Ethereum. I want to be diversified. The coin's done nicely for me over the long haul, right? But I just believe that Ethereum is a feature-based setup. This isn't the same as Bitcoin, right? Which is digital scarcity, which is a finished product. Ethereum is a feature-based part of the cryptoverse. So, from time to time, you're going to have coins pop up, rivals pop up, that have more features. Solana, for example. Right? You're going to have that happen. These proof-of-stake coins aren't as diversified as proof-of-work coins. I'm looking at the Ethereum challengers. Right? Cardano, Solana, Polkadot, Polygon... I think there's compelling value in those with a big market cap, right? I also like Cosmos. I also like Algorand, although I sold some Algorand not too long ago, right? Locking some profits. I'm looking in that area. Finally, the Binance ecosystem, staking pancake swap is simply, in my opinion, an unparalleled opportunity right now in the cryptoverse. Yes, with beefy finance and these yield optimizers, you can get a greater percentage with lesser known coins. To me, that carries much greater risk. Right here, I just love the idea that I can say, okay, let me stake pancake swap. Then within the first three days, I could say, hey, you know what? I need the money for something else. Pull it out and not pay a big penalty. I like the idea that after three days, 
I don't even have the early withdrawal penalty. Right, I'm just getting money. They'll charge me a 2% performance fee when it comes time to pull it out, but understand that you're getting a greater than 90% APR, right? As these markets mature, I do expect the APR to drop. For farming, BNB slash cake, the APR is about 55% right now, right? Over time, it's going to drop. But right now, my goodness, the people who've gotten in early are making an absolute killing. Again, today, as I make this video, you can stake pancake swap and get a greater than 92% APR. That's what I'm looking at today. I want everyone to think for themselves. Please, again, do not consider anything I've said in this video to be financial advice. Let's just say crypto is about to become much more meaningful, much more valuable, right? The right moves today, in my opinion, could yield significant rewards tomorrow. I believe everyone needs to know about the different coins, about their different roles, and about returns that they can get by staking. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this YouTube video. Thanks for stopping by.